The future we've seen in science fiction movies is here. From virtual reality to functional gadgets, artificial intelligence is not just an innovation, it's a revolution of innovation. And AI is not magic, it's just mathematics. In fact, the four pillars of AI are statistics, probability, calculus, and linear algebra. Particularly in the field of machine learning, statistics helps to draw conclusion from large amounts of data, probability helps in predicting future outcomes, calculus is used in optimizing machine learning and deep learning algorithms, and last but not least, linear algebra helps in developing complex machine learning models and data structures. These are the four basic concepts of mathematics that constitute AI. But where do you see math in the real-world applications of AI? Have a look at this monkey playing a video game. If you notice carefully, the controller is not even plugged in and the game is working perfectly fine. Believe it or not, the monkey is playing and controlling the game purely with its own mind, using a computerized chip implanted in its brain. Yes, telepathy just got real thanks to Elon Musk and his company Neuralink. Neuralink will allow humans to communicate with computers using only their mind by installing a chip in the brain. This can eventually lead to superhuman intelligence. And it is based on the concept of artificial neural networks, which has its roots in mathematics. An artificial neural network is a large group of interconnected artificial neurons, also known as perceptrons. It is a mathematical structure which mimics the behavior of a real neuron, which is the fundamental unit of the brain. Its working is purely based on a mathematical procedure. In this neuron, all inputs denoted by x are multiplied by their respective weights and then these products are added to get a weighted sum. If this sum is greater than some threshold c, the neuron passes on the signal to other neurons. Two mathematical functions known as summation function and activation function are involved in this. The inputs given to a perceptron are processed by what is known as the summation function which is followed by the activation function which converts the weighted sum of input signals of a neuron into the output signal. This is the mathematical representation of the activation function. Working on the same mathematical concept of artificial neural networks is Samsung's NEON. What if I tell you that there are people who are not really people but they exist? Imagine if Siri or Alexa had a virtual face and could carry on a genuine conversation with you instead of only fetching you tomorrow's forecast. Samsung's NEON project is headed in that direction, with its very own artificial humans, and its equal parts fascinating, impressive, and eerie. These artificial intelligent digital avatars have their own personality and can converse and behave just like humans. They can act as a language tutor, a personal accountant, a receptionist, an actor, a TV anchor, the list goes on, all the while being working on summation and activation functions. We've all heard about Tesla, the company that has revolutionized the automobile industry with its self-driving electric cars. Did you know that behind these cars is mathematics in the form of minimization procedures and backpropagation? Cruise control is an algorithm developed for maintaining constant speed of the car. It is based on graph theory and dynamic programming, which are both branches of mathematics. Such algorithms control the throttle, transmission and steering of the car on their own and eliminate the need for a driver. During the COVID-19 pandemic, when all delivery services were shut down, a company called Starship came up with a futuristic automated robot to carry out deliveries of various goods. And building these robots was not possible without mathematics. The three major concepts of geometry, statistics, and algebra are actively involved in them. You'll need to find the dimensions of the wheels of the robot and the mechanism of its different rotating parts, all of which involves geometry. Statistics helps in building data tables and graphs for different speed tests and crash tests to make sure the data is consistent using standard deviations. The most important part is algebra, which involves finding patterns and relationships between speed and power, of force and acceleration, and many other things. 
To conclude our presentation, I would like to quote that a person working in the field of AI who does not know mathematics is like a politician who does not know how to persuade. Both have an inescapable area to work upon. Thank you.